welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sanding these walls. They have the two skim coats on them. If you remember from the last video up here doing this cosmetic remodel to my office. I guess I'm calling it cosmetic remodel because it's not like I'm remodeling, moving any walls or anything like that, but it's just cosmetic stuff. I took out that wainscot. There's no sign that it was ever here after the second skim coat. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a blank canvas. You can't see it on any of these walls, any signs of it. There's no nail holes. There's no adhesive uh, tear outs from where it tore the texture. And there's no caulking lines from where that caulking used to be there. So now I got to sand this down and then spray the texture on it. And that's where we're at today. And I am going to do the knockdown texture. Everyone kept saying do smooth, smooth, but this whole house is knocked down and I like consistency. So I'm just gonna do knockdown. I do like smooth walls as well, but I'm not gonna re skim coat this whole house. One other thing, I got some questions about the flooring and I have not taken any precautions to protect it because we are replacing this carpet with hardwood flooring. And that hardwood flooring actually arrived the other day and we started unloading it. So what you see here is me, my brother-in-law, and the flooring delivery guy unloading the hardwood flooring. These are number three white oak boards. They're three quarters of an inch thick by five inches wide. And they come in various lengths with the tongue and groove on them ready to join to the next board. And it's 22 square foot per bundle. And it took us quite a while to unload all 1500 square feet, mostly because we were going up to the second floor and unloading it. Now, one thing to know about number three white oak is that it is not for everyone. It has a lot of imperfections in it or what people would call imperfections that my wife and I actually call beautiful because we like the character in the wood. So I know people are going to ask, what is number three white oak? It's basically the white oak that has the curls, the knots, the imperfections, and it's inferior to number one and number two white oak. So that's what's going on with the floors. Now I've got to get started sanding this skim coat, the second skim coat, and spraying the texture. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so what I'm going to be using to sand is this pretty four to eight foot extension pole. And this thing is cool. You just push a spring and you can make this pole eight foot long and it goes down to the four foot long. And I'm going to be using a sanding attachment with 120 grit sanding pad. So this is the sanding attachment and this just screws on to the extension pole and it has a swivel head on it. So no matter where you are, you can get it to lay flat on the wall. It just, it's just gonna swivel to do whatever you want. And then I'm using 120 grit drywall sanding papers to knock this down. So that's where we're at right now and I'm gonna get sanding. day here and I got this carpet ripped out and thrown out the window my favorite way of disposing of things in this house and as you can see there's a urine stain right there on the carpet I found several on that carpet and the carpet pad and I'm really not a big fan of carpet period I like hardwood flooring which like you've seen earlier in this video I got the hardwood flooring I'm gonna be using a product called AFM safe coat it's a penetrating finish for hardwood flooring if anyone's used it let me know, I did receive a sample of the wax finish and it looked beautiful. It was like super nice, a really nice matte finish, which is what I like. I don't like glossy, really shiny floors. So if you know anything about AFM Safe Coat, 
Um, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to be buying several gallons of it. So let me know. Other than that, where I'm at now is I've got the texture sprayed. Um, I, I didn't want to bring my big camera in there because it was just such a mess. And then I, I put the GoPro in there and it kind of couldn't see much. But I got that texture sprayed. I knocked it down, sanded it, threw this carpet out the window. And that's kind of what I've done today. Usually on the weekends, I'm doing my quotes for my business. And in, I'm now that I'm a homeowner, I'm doing this stuff when I have time. So let's go up there. I've got to prime the drywall and then that's where we're at now. Now we're getting closer to the finished carpentry part of this project, which I know is why you're here and why I even make videos. So after the floor goes in, then it's time to get started. And I've got some really cool ideas. You're gonna to wanna to stick around. So let's go up there, prime this stuff, and then we'll, I'll show you guys the finished product, so to speak, of what I have so far. Oh. No, don't, don't, don't undo that paper. No? Yeah, just plug it in through it. I can't plug it in, there's full paint in there. Look at it. Just plug it in anyways. Here, let me see it. How are you gonna kill yourself? It's gonna shock you. It's liquid. How? It's liquid. You gotta get shocked every once in a while. <laughs> a good little shock never hurt anybody. Except if you're on death row. After a couple of years of doing this kind of stuff, you lose your senses <laughs> <laughs> and then it doesn't bother you anymore i believe you all right so it's the next day primer is dry and the texture actually looks pretty good i'm pretty proud of myself i'm not like a texture guru or anything like that but i got a pretty close match on this knockdown compared to what was already here so i'll go ahead and show you that just look at how that looks up close it matches the rest of the house so we're good all right, so we're getting closer and closer to the finished carpentry part of this project. It's one more week for the floors to acclimate. They've already been in the home now for two weeks acclimating, and it's recommended minimum of three weeks for the fact that when, after you install a new floor, it doesn't buckle and do all this funny stuff on you because it hasn't reached relative humidity. So I'm done with this drywall stuff. I'm happy because I don't really like messing with mud and texture and all that. It's not really my passion but finished carpentry is and i think you guys know that so stick around for the next video and until next time i'll see y'all then take care